Hello everyone, this is Brian Bentley at Quite Up TV, bringing you gameplay and commentary for The Tyranny of King Washington DLC for Assassin's Creed 3. This is Episode 1, The Infamy. Set in a separate universe from the main storyline, you continue the journey as Rataran Hagon, or Connor, whichever is easier for you, as you attempt to uncover how the world you've awoken in could have come gone completely wrong with a, with a very new Mad King George. In this new world, you go through the Sky Journey, where you become one with your spirit animal, the wolf. This is the first quest after that Sky Journey, where you must find another warrior from your tribe who's been taken. We're going to go through it together right now. Of course, this is the, uh, the real drama that Ubisoft brings. Uh, so, anyway, we're going... You, you, there's a little bit of uh, a little exposition right here to kind of uh, show you that you know going through the spirit the sky journey really is a big thing and uh, so the very first part of the journey of the thing after this running part which is always a good time is you know the where they give you a spot uh, a search area and you have to go find clues so I'm gonna kind of find the first clue here you know we're gonna talk. We're gonna analyze it. I'll start going to the second one, and then we'll kind of speed things along. Uh, mainly because th there's a couple of hmm, maybe the word isn't boring parts, but you know, but you get the idea. Um, so now I've gotten to the end. I'm finding the last clue, and apparently, um, spirit wolves uh, can see things that happened in the past when you weren't there. Or something, because uh, he's going to see the whole fight now. All right. Apparently this is how spirit wolves, uh, this is how they roll. So now you've seen the fight, you know that he's getting taken away. Uh, uh, yes, by the way, if you're wondering, he does have a, uh, a giant uh, you know, tattoo on his face of a hand. After the fight, the prisoners were marched up the now, you uh, go up this hill, and uh, I I'm going to skip ahead. Because I want to show this uh, calling the wolf pack, which is a, uh, which is a, you know, basically it's calling your assassins guildmates uh, forward, except uh, they're not people, they're spirit wolves. Um, I, I, I end up skipping that part where you run up the hill mainly because, uh, well, there's a couple of reasons. One, uh, it's not real exciting, and two, I totally botch the optional objection, optional objective. Where I was supposed to shoot an arrow through two guys at once. That, that just didn't happen. Now, here is some quality writing and acting right here by this guy. So I'm rounding up engines over yonder. One of the Braves. Did he have a hand mark on his face? You mean like a big tattoo across his chin? Yeah, I've seen that. Fella. Yeah, he has. Hard to miss. Take us to this camp. Uh, sure. <laughs> And you know what? Sure. They should totally trust yeah, this guy because uh, that's always worked out well in the past. <laughs> but basically it sets up here now so you can call the wolf pack to track this guy down and you can see how much faster they are than you, which is nice. I'm, I'm running full speed uh, and the wolves easily outpace me to uh, go after my enemies. Oh, there's a, uh, some good clipping. And, uh, and now we get into our battle. Now, um, the fighting system, of course, is, you know, once I got back into it and, um, you know, got sort of like getting back on your, uh, getting back on your bicycle. But, uh, you know, it's just as bloody as before. Um, you know, I, I think, I think Ubisoft went a little crazy with, with wanting these, uh, fighting, uh, <laughs> I, I just shot an arrow into him. Um. But, you know, I, I think they got a little crazy in certain respects because I was trying to find, uh, I was trying to get to a chest that was being guarded. And I, I killed the, I, I, I snuck up and I, I snuck, you know, and I, I was, you know, hiding in the bushes. I killed a couple of guys uh, and then I accidentally, you know, triggered, you know, someone. They saw me and then everyone... And after, and I kept fighting, I kept fighting, and after I was done, I went around and counted the number of people. I killed over two dozen people. I am a mass murderer. 
<laughs> they just kept coming, and, and you know, there wasn't like it turned to yellow so I could run away uh, and hide, and you know, for that, I no, 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 they just kept coming, so I had no, no, you know, so I had nothing else to do except slaughter them. Um, so that kind of broke the, uh, that kind of broke the experience a little bit for me. Um, and then, uh, you'll love this part right here. I can't climb up onto the tree. Uh, yeah. So, um, Ubisoft still kind of needs to fix some of the, uh, the physics, the climbing physics. Cause as you can see, I, I had a lot of, a lot of trouble getting up there. So, uh. You know, that's, uh, we'll call that an opportunity for growth, um, later on. Now, uh, I'm going to kind of move, if, uh, I'm not going to skip ahead, I'm just going to run, and, you know, I almost fell off the branch. Um, I really, really love the winter physics that they brought forth here, the snow, uh, swirls, uh, <laughs> I know it, it's a, it's a very strange thing to kind of be in love with, but how the snow swirls and how you um, kind of go through the deep snow is is still pretty amazing. Um, it, it really, really is. So uh, there's our uh, there's our buddy. We have to go save, and now it's time to uh, start killing some guys. I call the wolf pack forward to help me out. Uh, you can also I I don't have it on at the moment, but I you do have a wolf cloak. And the wolf cloak allows you to move quickly, uh, cloaked, uh, obviously, and um, so you're not being seen, but it does remove some of your health uh, a little bit at a time. Um, so it's one of those things like you, if you need to, you can like use the wolf cloak, jump out, run up to someone, kill them, drop back into the wolf cloak, and run to a uh, a hiding a hidey spot. So you know there's some. There's some really great things you can do with this, uh, with the wolf cloak, and, um, you know, I'm gonna try to do a little more, but I wanted to, uh, to really get out there, get this out there, this first one, and, uh, I'll try to, when we get a little bit further in the DLC, I'll try to get another one out. So make sure you go ahead and like this, uh, video. Put in the comments if there's, like, something in particular that you want to see. Um, I'm really hoping that there's, like, maybe another naval mission, although I, I highly doubt it. Um, but that would be awesome. Um, so just put in the comments what you maybe would like to see in the next video. And make sure you subscribe to the CoinOp TV YouTube channel for up to the minute, you know, especially all the stuff from, you know, yesterday's PS3 announcement or PS4 announcement um, and more on DLC from Assassin's Creed 3 and all the games that we have because we have something new every single day. So... Uh, make sure you do the liking and the subscribing. And thank you very much, and we will uh, catch you next time. See ya.